bell and she's a whole different story she doesn't have a clue how to stand still at all so we're just working on her standing in one spot and not moving we are using the chair as a tool just to get her used to standing next to a chair and not moving so this one just takes a ton of patience With Mel, all I'm asking is that she comes up oh, and just stands still. I can tilt that. So I'm going to put the chair next to her, and her job is to just stand next to the chair. I'm not even working on use, using it as a mounting block yet. I just want her to stand and not move her feet when we put the chair next to her. So I stick the chair there, and her job is to not move her feet. As long as her feet aren't moving, I'm not going to do any corrections. She just has to stand there and be good. But if her feet start moving, then either she gets pulled back, pushed forward with the reins, or we have to go take a walk. She doesn't get to just stand. Nope, stand. So we'll allow those two steps. I'm going to put the chair back and see if she'll stand still. I want her just to stand. Her feet not move. She can look around. Ah, ah. <coughs> Stop moving your feet. Stand. Okay, so she was moving her feet, so we're going to take a walk. she stands by the chair she doesn't have to keep it going cool. Stand. literally we could do this for an hour however long it takes before she figures out oh when the chair is here I'm supposed to just stand and not move my feet my head can move but my feet can't move Okay, so she wants to move her feet, so we're going to go ahead and move. Stand. So the idea is horses like to be lazy and uh, she's going to figure out that if she just stands there, she doesn't have to do anything. If she starts moving her feet, then she's going to have to do stuff. So I'm just appealing to her inner lazy. And then once we get this worked out, we'll move on to actually standing on the chair like I was with Jasmine.